takes up my time. Hi, welcome to our podcast. We're from the University of Bolton, we're from the Social Work Centre. My name is Victoria. I'm Olu. I'm Amy. And this is Steve. Steve is a service user who works with the University of Bolton. Yeah, I'll, I'll, say a little bit, I'll say a little bit about what I do, yeah? Okay. So, I am a volunteer. I don't work directly for the university. This is a voluntary thing that I do. And what I do is I support um, social work students through their, particularly through their early journey on the course. Um, and I do that because A, I've had social workers in my life um, up to about probably 10 years ago. Uh, pretty much all the way through, um, and B, I had some very good social workers, some very good social workers. I also had some very bad ones, and what I want is to uh, is to turn these students into the good ones, and that's why I, my aim is to try and help them become really good social workers and not be like some of the bad ones I had. We have skills days as part of our placement, and. Um, we work together with Steve and Steve portrays a service user and we come in to see Steve who also goes by a different name. Yes, yeah, so I basically I'm acting. Yeah. So I generally I generally go by John because it's just easy for me to remember. I have to uh, when we when we do some of the scenarios I have a lot of names and things I have to remember, so it's a lot easier if I'm just always the same name when I'm doing it. So I tend to be John, and I just portray, particularly when we're doing the practices with them before they, before they get to come out onto their placements, I portray John in a variety of different ways to, to challenge them, to get them to ask the right questions, to, to get them to understand how to work with someone that they've really never met before. This is really what the challenge is, I think, with, with, with any of these things, is gaining the trust of of the service users, especially on the initial contact, and it is a skill. It is definitely a skill that you can learn, and it's something that uh, that these guys are learning all the time, aren't you? When you're yeah. on your placement, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 And the skills that you um, taught us, even for just the initial getting through the door, building up that trust instantly. You know, we have used that uh, in practice, yeah. and it has been very helpful. And the role plays have been very, very, as Amy said, has been very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. And like when we go to the service users' house, we remember all the skills that we put it in practice. Yeah, I, I think the thing about, I always say about, I know it sounds, it does sound silly to say you've got to learn how to knock on a door. But when you think about for that very, very first visit, those first few visits, how nervous you're going to be, it's good to have a little routine so you know how to introduce yourself you know kind of what you're going to say before they open the door so you can concentrate on the important things instead of worrying about what you're going to do when you get there and i i, we, I found um uh, one of the things we do get from placement providers is that they find that bolton students social work students are far more prepared than some students from other universities yeah. because we you know, it, it's the it's the small stuff that's important sometimes. Not always the really really big, yeah. wider yeah. picture stuff. It's the little things that trip you up. And I think things like that initial contact going yeah. through the door, just knowing. I, I even I even talk about you know um, when we do the role playing. You know, just chit chat. Yeah. Look, we're, we're in England. What do we love talking about in England? We love talking weather. about the weather. Yeah. 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 And I always say yeah. this, you know, when you talk about, start with the weather because you'll always get somebody talking. They'll always have some comment when you talk about the weather. If you go in and they've got lots of house plants, comment mm -hmm. on their house plants. If they have an animal, oh, that's a lovely cat, lovely dog. You know, use use your find some use yeah. find some common yeah. ground with them. Absolutely. Exactly what it's about, and it's a it is a it is something that does. Because really what you're asking is for people to give you some very, very personal information when they don't really know you. Mm -hmm. And you have to, and you don't have, an enormous, these, in these days where money is time and time is money and everything is cost and everything you know, comes down to that cost, yeah. you have to, even as a social worker, you have to do things within a certain time oh, yeah, frame yeah. and within the thing. So the quicker you can gain somebody's trust and get them to talk to you, the better it is. 
and I think it's um, it is something that I find is quite gratifying to watch when I come and see the students who do come on placement in the centre to see how quickly they develop these skills really really quickly develop them and and they take the small amount that I tell them and just move move on move on and by the time they're finished they're they're far far nearer to the finished article than when they start which is yeah. a fantastic thing to see and you never think it's going to happen from that from that person that you were to the transition to a different different identity or professional identity when you think well, how are these even going to help me but you just see it all like it's just one day you just you just changed into just picking up these things just automatically now yeah. well look at today we were going to be doing this probably about 45 minutes ago originally um, and <laughs> literally a, a service user who they'd never met before never had any contact with before turned up at the center and Olu jumped in yeah. and started working with them and in all honesty Olu that would not have been you even a couple of weeks ago <laughs> yeah, so that it's, be, it's, that it's, be it, it, it's, it's fantastic isn't it yeah, just to see this the, yeah. the way that people's confidence grows when yes. they do this and and it, it's I find it very gratifying you do see I don't because I don't see them as much as the lecturers do because I only come in as, as required to do sessions I, I, do, I see growth in them every time I come in and it, it genuinely is it's absolutely I think uh, when you first come on to placement you feel like a bit like a fish out of water yeah you've got all the skills that have been taught to you but actually applying them can be quite scary sometimes in the real world However, we're about a third of the way through our placement. Um, we've had we've been to quite a few service users' homes, and using the skills that Steve has taught us, yeah. when just simply knocking at the door is not quite an easy thing mm -hmm. to do. That's the first step, and the first step is the step you've got to get right from the outset. Um, we felt confident to be able to do that straight away. Mm -hmm. And then by using our professional curiosity and having the right conversation with a service user, we've managed to get the information that we need in order to help create positive change for them. And you think when you meet the, the current students that are on placement and you, you go and you shadow them, get to know the, the service users and you think, how am I ever going to be like that Like in, within 70 days? Yeah. Well, it, it's, it's a really quick progress of you personally. And you think, oh yeah, I can, I might actually be able to do this. Yeah. Yes, I was telling Stephen and Stacey that when I first started, I was like, how am I going to fit into Irish shoes and yeah. um, Laura's shoes? But right now, I'm like, oh, I'm doing it. We're all doing it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think you're growing And they were the same before you. Yeah. They were exactly yeah. the same before yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, how, yeah. You know, how they were. And it's, it's, it, is, it is amazing how quickly people develop when they yeah. do this. And, and I, I think it's... Um, it's at, n at no stage are you left without someone that you can go to yeah, without support, any support yeah. and I think that's very important that yeah, you do have that because obviously you're, 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 this is the first time you've ever done it it's your yeah. first placement it's going to be everything everything that you do is new isn't it yeah, every yeah, day you, will, you yeah. are learning something new yeah. every single day and believe me probably for the first five years that you go out yeah. You're learning every no two no two cases are the no. same. No yeah, two people no, are the no. same. Everybody's different. I think the way you interact with each service user is completely different. Um, and you see, you do actually start off with a service user who can have something quite simple. And as you develop working together, you come across a lot more things that they need support with. And it's it's amazing to see a service user feel empowered and see them progress into where they want to be, um, the, the problems that they may have had before, it's showing them how to, to fix those problems, how to work with those problems, and just watching them grow through mm -hmm. life yeah. is just amazing, and that, that's what we do it for. Yeah. Yeah. We do it to create change in people's lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about positive change, yeah. that's, what it's, that's what it should be about, empowering the service users mm -hmm. and enabling them a positive change it's yeah. it's, it's just a, it's a, it sounds easy doesn't it but yeah. uh, it sounds easy but <laughs> it's, a, it's, yeah. it's, it's very difficult and it's very easy to fall into the trap of 
taking over yes. that and you know maybe not empowering them as much as we could just because it is easier it's more time effective um things like that where it, the harder option is to actually empower somebody give them the tools and the confidence for them to do it themselves if if you're empowering somebody what you're actually doing is making them less reliant on yeah, you absolutely. as the days go by yeah, rather than absolutely. more reliant yeah. on yeah. you and that's really quite a hard thing when you're a caring person as well yeah. Yeah. and it's but it is important that you do that because i think i think the, the pleasure comes from seeing that person be able to do what they came yeah. in to achieve i think that's the pleasure for all of us yeah. we want to see people grow we want to give them the tools as amy said and support them yeah. and i think a lot of the things of a, a simple pit farm or a simple farm that they need to complete to do a housing or anything. Everything's online now and a lot of people cannot use yeah. the technology online. So by inviting them into the centre, we sit with them uh, with a PC and we go through the whole process. And they're, they're a big part of that and they see how it's all done. And we ask them to do parts of it as well to, to let them see how, how easy it can be. Um, and a lot of people have done something simple with us in the centre and gone away, gone home and been able to do the same thing that we've taught them in the centre. So it's, it's great to see that. Oh, definitely, definitely. And I think it's so important that things like this social work centre here exist because a lot of the referrals do come from councils and they're people that the councils deem not worthy of their time which is you know unfortunately in these days where again it's down to money it's all down to where the resources that they have available and if somebody doesn't quite meet the criteria for the statutory work they end up with a charity which is ultimately what this uh, social work centre here is it's a charity um, that, that provides a free service to the uh, to the people of Bolton Farmworth what is it for Bolton Heart Farm? Berry, I think. Berry, well. Horridge, yeah. and a couple from Wigan, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, yeah. as well. So quite open to working around their areas um, yeah. as well, you know, spreading it a little bit wider. Yeah. I would say probably this part, this north, north, the northern part of uh, Greater Manchester, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's it's yeah. and it, it is um it's a very worthwhile. It's not just about providing um placements now it's about providing a service to the local community and it's yes. uh, it's become very it's really become very important um so you talked about how and why maybe that you help the students at the university of Bolton get ready um for their first placement um how did you where did that start where did you get involved with the university of Bolton how did that come about um, I was uh, approached um, by uh, um, through Martina, and it was really um, one of our um, a couple of our other the other lecturers who really took me on took me under their wing to show me what was required, how you know what uh, what the requirements were. When we do the role playing, um, a lot of it is based on my own experiences. Mm -hmm. Um, particularly when I do, uh, I do things around people with, uh, with, with some anger, people with uh, paranoia, people with um, uh, conf who are confused, mm -hmm. um, and, and I had all these things. Um, so I, 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 I channel a lot of that with in, into when I do the acting part of it. But to learn what the requirements for the students were, I need to know what they need. Mm -hmm. And so I had a couple of, I sat down for a couple of really long days with, uh, with a couple of the lecturers going through what a social worker does, the, about the uses of silence as a, as a yeah, tool in, when you're thing, talking to yeah. people, it's a big thing, about um, the importance of, uh, uh, of, of eye contact and, and body language and all these things. And we basically set up a, a day where we, from them knowing, done all the theory, by the end of the day, they know how to approach at the door. They, they have an idea of how to get things started with, this, with, with a service user. They have an idea of how to 
ask some difficult questions and things like that. They're obviously these this supports other other they do a skills day on uh, probing questions and mm. things like that. There are a lot of other things that support yeah. it, but this kind of brings it together in a in a practical way. Mm. And um, after the first time I did it, um, I really thoroughly enjoyed it, and we had such an amazing response from the students yeah. um, because um, you know all of a sudden a lot of the things that they learned on paper start to become real mm -hmm. and, and it's very important for them because in order to go out on placement they have to pass an assessed role play so they have there are a couple there's there, I'm playing a service user they're given a scenario they're given like a little uh, a little uh, a little case mm -hmm. and it's a first visit and they have to come and talk to this person about whatever that whatever that issue is that they've got and Obviously, we're not expecting perfection. It would be unfair to do that anyway. But we just it's just an assurance that they're ready to go out and take those first steps on their on their placement. And it's it's usually the lecturer, the main lecturer on that um, on that module that's one of the assessors. There's another assessor, and obviously I'm although I'm doing the acting, I'm also assessing mm -hmm. while I'm doing it. And it, it, when you talk to the lecturer who's been, been uh, working on that module, it's so it's so gratifying for them to see all the things that they've taught over that period. They can yeah. see it coming out, and they start seeing the, all those things. And, and for me, it's you know that, that, that all those times when I've been in the room, because I also come in and talk about my life journey and the things that have happened to me, and, and explain that they, that these guys know about my good and bad social workers that I've had. Yeah. I, I focus a lot on the good because I think that's important that they know, but also, you know, things that are really bad practice that I've come across um, in, in, my, in my journey. And, and going forward, when they finish their first placement, we have a session where they come in and they do a day with me. And we talk about a lot more about um, how emotion, their own emotional well-being rather than, and you know and and talk about how they can how this can help them and we have a very uh, again this is one of the sessions that we get a lot of really good feedback for because it makes we get a lot of we end up with a lot of there they have to do these things called reflections which uh, as a social worker we always end up with a lot of reflections being written about that day because it makes yeah. people think yeah. a little yeah. bit more yeah. about uh, and it is a reflective day anyway um, but and again it's one of those I enjoy doing because you've They've been out, they've all, by this time, they all of that class have been on a first placement. So I consider that I'm no longer talking to students. I'm now talking yeah. to training social workers. And that's how I feel. They, they change. And you can actually see the change in the, in the group. There's a, there's a definite difference between the people that I had when they first came to the university and the people that are in that room mm -hmm. when, when we do that session. It's, you can actually see the growth, the personal growth in them. From doing this course, it is it is fantastic to see, and that's irrespective of people's age or anything. It's 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 not just the you know you think someone who's just come through the college system, you would expect to see some some personal growth in them. But of course, you would. But even people we have come on who are who are, who are uh, uh, middle aged or even mature, properly full blown mature students, even they have a lot of personal growth on the course, and it is. Yeah, I can speak for myself mm. on that one because I'm a mature student. Um, and I've grown a lot from when I first started the degree to where we're at now. Mm -hmm. uh, the role play was really, really important for us to do. We got a benefit, I believe, at our university yeah. because we have the living rooms and it looks mm -hmm. like a living room. We have the fridge, we have the tea, coffee, sugar, we have the couches, we have the coffee tables, we have the nice carpet, so it feels real. And when you were knocking on the door and you entered the room, even though we knew Steve, he played a different part. We had one of four scenarios told to us just a few minutes before we came in. And you kind of think on your feet, which is what you would be doing as a social worker in a service user's home. So not everything is black and white. You wouldn't know what you're saying beforehand. You had to assess the situation. You had to have really good conversations with Dave, who's Steve, and listen to the responses and from there kind of get a better picture 
of the service user you're working with. So it kind of like give you the experience of a social worker, the first real experience that we've ever got. And it was really good to see that and to see which bits you could have done a little bit better on. Some things you could have used your curiosity on better to develop you. But also you walked out of there feeling like you learned so much just within that 20 minutes. Everything that you've been taught, you put into practice. And I think that was invaluable, personally. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think the feedback session after that mm -hmm. assessed role play is really key because we are, you often identify, um, you identify a lot of, uh, of what we call development areas, you know, things you can improve on. But you also identify on the things that they did well. Mm -hmm. And everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. And it's, it's about, that's your strength. Work on the weaknesses. You know, you use that strength. If you've got a particular strength, use it. If, if this is a weakness, you need to work on it. And, and we very much uh, work work on the principle of of um, uh, of using using that feedback. And they get it written. They get it in a written form as well. I, I I'm very because when we're doing it, the the assessors are, are over the other side of the room. I'm assessing, I'm up close, and I see things like their body language. I can see whether they're fidgeting. I can see whether, you know, one of my biggest tips before they do it is, if you've got long hair, please yeah, put, yeah, put it back. Yeah. Because <laughs> even if you think you're not going to play with it, I promise yeah. you, every single person that's yeah. coming yeah, there... Yeah, we all do this without yeah. You need your badge because yeah. you've got to show your ID. Yeah. So, yeah. It, but then leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in your pocket, yeah. anything, yeah. when you're out there for real. You're going to be nervous. Yeah. That's why I say don't have pads and pens. Mm -hmm. I'll start again. That's why I say don't have pens and pads because if you've got props, you'll use them. Use and and, and you start fidgeting. Yeah, and, and then that puts the other person, at, you've got to put that a person at ease. And you're not going to put them at ease if you're all the time yeah. fidgeting yeah. with something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's, it's, um, it's, it's baby steps. By the same token, what I'm really, really conscious of is I am not want to produce robots. I don't want to produce lots of little Steves out there. You know, it's about it's about them having these initial things and, and and then finding their own style, finding their own questioning style, finding their own way of everybody will have a different way of putting someone at their ease at the beginning. Some people will use humour, some people it's different. Everybody will have their own style, but for when it, at the first the first steps, just take it steady and do it the way we show you and then move on and then find yeah, your style and find your way and it, I think it's a it is a very um, it's very interesting to watch the key thing is here is is you in all honesty yeah, because yeah. you bring your wealth of knowledge you've used social workers in the past um, I don't think you'll mind me saying, but you weren't an easy service oh, I was, user. I was horrible. <laughs> um, but that's really good for us because yeah. we're not always going to get a service user who wants us to be there. You're going to get, a, and quite rightly, you know, this is people's private spaces and we understand that. But it, it's trying to work beyond those barriers mm -hmm. and trying to support people in the right way, not to overpower them, not to work alongside them. That's what... We want to achieve but with your life and your history and everything you've shared with us it enables us to feel like we can support people yeah and yeah this university to me is developing me in, yeah in a really good way to be the best social worker i can be well, yeah you talked earlier about these um uh, living room spaces that we have yeah fantastic. and they they are they're not just good for um the learning, but they're also good for the centre because if you do get, we have a, we're actually recording now in, in the corner of one of the, one of our living rooms, mm -hmm. um, and we, I use this one a lot for we use this one for our assess role plays, but I, I, I use it if I do one to one tutorials with people if they need a tutorial on, on something, uh, where if they're struggling particularly if they're struggling, where they might have need a bit of help to. Uh, have a second go at their role play. We'll, we'll come in here, and we'll have a tutorial in here. It's a nice room. We've got a, we've got sofas. It's nice and comfortable. You yeah. don't feel like you're in a in a university room. The other room's a larger room um, where we do the practice, but that's also a really useful room for the centre because 
There's a lot of children. There's some children's furniture in there for in case you. Although they don't work directly with children at the centre because they're not allowed to at the moment. You do obviously have people bring their children because yeah, yeah. they're working with the parents. So we have all the things. We have books. I regularly donate the odd book. I find yeah. I, when they do the old deals in Asda where they're two yeah. for five pound yeah. or something. Yeah. And I see some yeah. nice ones. I get a couple and I put them in their yeah. little library that they've got in there. We've had a lot of donations from the local community from yeah. of toys and things like that. And if you are in the Farnworth area and it's the yeah, Queens. No. It's opposite the, the woodyard. It's the uh, the Absolutely. campus opposite yes. the woodyard. Yeah, yeah. You've got any old toys that are still in use, and you want to drop them off for the centre. We're quite happy to yeah. take anything yeah. like that on. It's all yeah, all good. It all gets used by the by but all gets used here, and um, it's and they've got any Lego. We use the Lego when we do interviews, believe it or not. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's um, but these 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 rooms. I was very instrumental in um, setting them up. Um, I have a background in training from when I was working. I used to work on London Underground. I have a background in training. And we did a lot of role playing. I, I, I set up rooms there in similar ways. And um, I kind of know what, what works and what doesn't work. And we, um, we got, we, 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 we specifically wanted rooms that could be used as, as learning areas, but could also be used, be useful to the centre. And useful for anything, if, even if the lecturers have some outside, uh, at Farnworth have any, out, someone from outside coming to visit, it's nice for them to come into a living room cold. rather than sit in a classroom with yeah. them or something yeah. or, or office. It feels more personal here, more personal than what it yeah. would do in a classroom. Yeah, it, feels and it, it definitely works. And I think having these spaces that feel like a living room, when you're learning, you haven't got to sort of keep suspending belief. Imagine yeah. this is a living room. Imagine yeah, that's it. Imagine there's a like thing. It. Imagine this. Imagine that. We don't have to. That, We've might, got that everything. might be why the role play works so well. Yeah, because yeah. It is like a living room. You have the furniture. It's like knocking on the door to someone's home. But I did say that. I said for the first time, I felt like a social worker. It felt weird. <laughs> it, I, I come out thinking. And I felt like a social worker then. And instead of just learning about yeah. it, you actually yeah. feel it. Yeah. You have yeah. the, the mind, you know, you're thinking things all the time, which is, you don't do that at university. You learn theory, but you're applying it. And this is what we're doing on placement as well. We're yeah. applying that knowledge. Uh, Steve's been with us today. We've held a, a wellness group uh, for an hour and a half. And service users come into the centre and we did all decide what we want to do. We did some board games today with other service users and we had a really good time. I won't um, tell you who won. He just he just beat us, no he, he, All by a few points. By, yeah, <laughs> by a few points. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he didn't get a word in nearly sixty letters, which I nearly fell out with him, but I did <laughs> We're not competitive, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you. I think it's it's definitely very rewarding for me. I I find it very rewarding. I enjoy, um, I enjoy being around the students. It's it's uh, it's it's fantastic to see. It's, I'm there from induction yeah, right the way through yeah, till. Uh, and I end up uh, because of my experience and the things I did on the undergrad. I even help out when they do their final, uh, one of their last modules is uh, employability, and I get involved on the panel doing the employability module as yeah. well. So I literally do the first thing they do and the last thing they do, you and it is it great to yeah. see the difference. Yeah. You know, when you think about the difference, the number of students I've said you imagine, remember the first time when we first yeah. spoke. There are some students who are so shy and nervous oh, and yeah. practically don't talk to you at the that start. That was you. That was you. Uh, that was me. That was me. That was me. Uh, uh, and now, now you, you just yeah, I'm just part of the furniture now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this just as good for you as it is for us, really? For your like, you know, your own, um, I'd say mental health. You know, coming in doing something like that. Does it help you just as much? Has it helped us? There's that as well. And also from a personal point of view, um, some of the stories that I tell, I haven't told for many, many years, and it's actually good to get it out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could probably, looking back, I probably could have done with some counselling, yeah. but I'm kind of doing my own counselling. Probably do. Because I'm talking, 
and 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 talking Find about the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By talking to people about these things. And there's a few things around my life that uh, that I've shared, and I'm not going to share it now because it's all very. We do have a thing. I have a thing with the students when mm-hmm. early on, first couple of sessions, we talk agreement, about yeah, yeah. What, what we say in the room stays yeah, in the room. Yeah. So they can say I won't tell. I won't say anything they tell me. They I, they don't say anything I tell them, and we have that sort of contract, and mm-hmm. and it's a there's a there's a trust between us. More respect what we're and saying, yeah. you know, you know. When it comes to that after experience, exactly. you know, respecting. And when it comes to that session after your first placement, you come in the room. I've, I, 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 I just remind you of it very briefly because, as far as I'm concerned, as I say, you, you, you're on your way to be a social worker. This should yeah. be the confidentiality should be your bread and butter now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and, and that's. And yeah, I and I, I I trust you, and yeah. and so I don't I just say right you know, but I repeat it on that because it's important for me as well because they come they will start talking about experiences that, although they're not going to give me specifics obviously they will talk about generalities about yeah. working with service users and obviously I won't reveal that either. And then so personal experiences yeah. as well. Yeah, and also yeah, the, yeah and, and we your feel, feelings. We end as up well. feeling then that we can share things with you. And yeah. Things like that, so. yeah. There has yeah, to be a trust, it. otherwise yeah. that, it doesn't. My 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 role doesn't work if there's no, no trust. It yeah. just doesn't work. You're sharing your experience with us and helping us to grow. Yeah. It's a big thing. But we came in the other week with the masters. Um, you were doing the role play, just going through the role play expectations with the masters group, and we all came in to just to talk to the masters group about our experience. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we know you. Yeah, we know you pretty well now because you've been with us throughout quite a long time of our journey. I can walk past and I can see things that yeah. I couldn't see before. Yeah. So I see the glint in your eye wanting the master students to do really well. Yeah. To give them your knowledge which yeah. is which is invaluable. And I can see them listening to every yeah. word yeah. that you say. And then I'd speak to the master students after and ask them did they, did they enjoy the session? And they say yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And you know we we're learning so much from that that long skill day for getting all the knowledge and They've done all the role plays now and they're waiting for the grades. Mm. But to hear them say it was really good yeah. and it made us think differently. And we had questions that we didn't even think we'd ask. Yeah. And it yeah. goes to show that it is really, really important. And I think every social work centre needs Steve. I really do. Yeah. One, one, of, one of the things that I like to do when I'm doing those role play practices is when, you, when they do the assessment, there's every, every scenario has a very... Uh, set sort of um, backstory. Mm. So my, my character that I'm playing has a very set backstory, and there's a there's a sort of an end. There's an end point, and if they follow, do the ask the correct questions that they should always be asking, and and listen to what I'm saying and ask questions based on what I'm saying, they'll get there. And that's how that's how they're set up. Well, when we do the practice, I just make it up as I go along, and as they 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 get, they get something right. I change to move the goalposts, yeah. and I keep moving the goalposts all the time. But I do it so they learn. Yeah. They learn, learn. That's why it's such a massive learning curve on that day because yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't. I play fair in the assessment, mm-hmm. yeah. but I don't play fair on the thing. But at the end of the day, on that role play practice day, I do one. I say, right, this time I won't move the goalposts. I'll do it straight, and, we, and I do it, and they get the end. They get to the end point, and then they start to see, ah, that's how it's done. They to come in cold at the beginning. No way anyone would no. get there yeah. at all. The first no, people, they're very brave to ever go. And I think they have a massive learning curve. It's like yeah, those, sure. yeah it, it, I find it personally gratifying Go because on. I like yeah. well, I like to see that personal growth in people. Yeah. And there's also another element to this where I, because of my circumstances and all the rest of it, I didn't have an opportunity for a proper education. Um, I did a... Um, I did, um, a presentation at a university conference recently and I've got the second certificate I've ever received in my life. Wow. And the, the first one was a, 
at NVQ, which I had to do at work. I didn't want to do, but they, they, were, so, <laughs> they were so upset about the fact I was the only person who had no qualifications whatsoever in the, in the, in the thing. They said, well, you can't, you can't do it with that qualification. I said, well, clearly you can do it with that qualification. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm doing yeah. it. But I had to have a piece of paper, so yeah. they insisted that oh, I did an NVQ. Oh, wow. but, but, but yeah, so it's amazing, isn't it? You just get it out of my, and, and it's like, um, I don't know. And it was weird because I didn't expect to get anything for that. I just did it because it was someone yeah. asked me to do yeah. it. I said, yeah, it sounds like fun. I think social workers, this is me now. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, they don't pat themselves. They don't pat themselves in the back a lot. I think we should. Yeah, we yeah we take a lot of responsibility. We feel we have to do that. We if we don't do it, we feel we feel bad on the inside. But we don't realize that we've done our best. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of social workers feel like that. Yeah, I, I think it's absolutely and 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 you and and the reason for that is because of empathy. You always yeah, want the yeah. best for every, everything yeah. and and and. That, that unfortunately that, that you, you can't cure happen. you can't cure the world it's just yeah, one of those things yeah. it's just uh, but by not being in the role you can't cure anything no exactly by being in the role you could so really celebrate change those weeks. one two person people, yeah. yeah one or two people's lives you've done your job absolutely yeah. that's what you're there for and it's and believe me when you do change somebody's life you do change, it changes and that's the thing it, it's you, there are some even small things can make a big difference yeah, and that's yeah. that's the that is i think a very very good place absolutely. to leave it yes absolutely. so thank you thank all. you so thank much you so much. Yes. Thanks for thank you so thank you you've enjoyed our podcast yeah i hope you've enjoyed thank me so rambling much. on well. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be <laughs> rambling, yeah. rambling, yeah, rambling, yeah, rambling yeah, so done. you've just got a flavor of it okay so <laughs> thank you thank you bye for you.